So on this episode, Martin Short plays a psychic who uh, is using his wife as a cover to rape and maybe murder virgins, right? <laughs> That's normal, right? <laughs> no, no. Even I know that ain't normal. <laughs> and my schizophrenia don't make me always scream. <laughs> what it means is mentally I hear voices that they think is associated with the mental illness, right? But I don't act out on the voices. Because <laughs> sometimes they tell me to do stupid stuff and I ignore them. <laughs> Ain't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> That's the certain good from evil, by the way. And, no, and yet, not condemning yourself because the thoughts don't come from God. They come from who? The bad guy. The bad guy. He's trying to share his thoughts with you. <laughs> or don't you get that? <laughs> And in order to do it, he had to be human too, but he denies it. <laughs> That's why we're the fallen man. <laughs> and he did it in the image of God too. Well, we were two, not one anymore. I know. Well, you divide to reproduce from the divine image. I know. The image of a spirit made flesh. I know. It is kind of like in Rice's the Vampire Chronicles, but yeah, yeah. But Satan's the lion spirit. Mm -hmm. And trying to, to kill us all, not just your daughter there, Ian. Mm -hmm. Though, trust me, if Jesus took her, mm -hmm, there's a reason you don't understand. You know? But it's not about her. It's about the devil and how he would tempt her when she was older or something, right? And what she might would do in the future, <laughs> But he took her at a certain time, right? <sighs> but you'll see her again, but you will be like you are now, I know. I mean, that's the problem with the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. They just also abducted a nun because he's in the virgin as well, but that don't mean they're virgin either. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Things you hear. Things you hear. Mm -hmm. I know. So intoxicated in the next episode, a mother who reports the statutory rape of her daughter is found murdered. Hmm. <laughs> so that. And like I said, if you think Daphne is afraid of me, you got it backwards. So, oh no. I wasn't the one showing my ass before I had to move back to Bates. <laughs> it was her. It was her. <laughs> And that's why I'm trying to tell Amanda, I don't know what's going on here, honey. <laughs> I know something's going on. <laughs> I know something's going on. But like I told you, right? Anyone can knock me out and pretend we're having sex for him. <laughs> for... <laughs> but I shouldn't be erect, and nor should I be inside you or anything, right? If I'm not that, I know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But see, that's what I'm trying to tell your boyfriend. I didn't have a part in that. I know. I don't go after little girls either, either. <clears throat> Even if a woman has one, I know my parental duties don't include sex. <laughs> <laughs> Not even tipped about sex with the child, right? I prefer 
adult women, even if they're not virgin virgins, but you know, right, right. And that's why Jesus is trying to teach us forgiveness is better than condemnation because you're doing the same thing wrong. <clears throat> And you're denying what you're doing is wrong, like Satan wants you to, right? And then he makes yourself righteous by focusing on judgment rather than repentance of the sin, right? And it's, that's the point. Everything Satan shows you is evil. <laughs> yeah. But all you can do, since it is Satan teaches you, the evil is forgive it. You know. I keep telling you why too. Mm -hmm. When people sin, they're sinning because they're letting Satan entice them and draw them away from God. Right? But he did. But like I said, there's always a choice, right? With sitting and uh, and if you don't care, no one can make you care. But if someone does care, you can't make them stop caring either. Either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm trying to teach you something that's hard for people to understand even about copyright law you're singing the song who's telling you only you can sing a song right someone trying to make money off of it which is legal especially if they're doing what I think they're doing right hey <laughs> They found a girl in the den. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, baby. A woman said somebody got the, a baby in the van. I'm not sure the bus is coming. It was freezing. He, he was in there all alone. He was naked and screamed. I, I crawled in to get him. And I looked back. I see But I'm trying to help you understand what's going on here. Mm -hmm. That evil is easier to do here. Mm -hmm. The good than good. But like I said, mm -hmm. these are th crimes Satan is helping you to understand are wrong. Uh, but right, but right. Six months, that's how old is Henry Jr. is. That's when you fled Canada. No, Henry Jr. is ours. We checked. There are no birth records for Henry Jr. We can't find anyone who remembers seeing you pregnant. You thought you were pregnant. Because you weren't. And see, that's what they're doing. Um, he's impregnating certain women and then she's pretending they're her children and mm -hmm. but see she's got to be both choosing the women and uh i don't even pick up women <laughs> most of them are coming on to me and uh, and i just accept the call <laughs> And it leads to sex, and it leads to sex. Right. Mm -hmm. So, part of this is for educational purposes, right? Right, to teach you about sex crimes, right? Now, some of the problem is you don't know how people were healed in the Bible, but part of it is your declaration that God can heal you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mm. Take the whore away. Please don't say that. Do it. Henry, please. You said if I did all those things 
for you. You'd never leave me. You promised me. I lied. I said. Lies, so no. Now you know Martin Short ain't really like that, right? That's what you think. I know that he's <laughs> most people aren't. <laughs> most people aren't. But there are some who are. There are some who are. And they're trying to change the disability and the something to stop, right? It don't have nothing to do with touching a child. That's a conscious decision which I would never make, right? But they're trying to spin it somehow. Now guess who was actually charged and went to jail for it? Pastor Lloyd Ray Davis. Now, he's also talking about two guys masturbating to me. And uh, if you're telling two 13-year-old boys, that's called the corruption of a minor. I know it is. Yep. <laughs> See, they're, he's kind of making them gayish, you know. And the boys don't feel right doing it, but mm -hmm, they're doing it, they're doing it. And look at that sex scene, right? Right? <laughs> you don't know what they're doing. Uh-oh, got busted. <laughs> Sex with her if she consented. He's 21. She's 15. Yep. Boyfriend still in there? I took his clothes so he couldn't leave. Okay, Officer Harris here. We'll take you down to the squad now. I want to be here when Carrie comes out. We need your statement. You bring her down as soon as Carrie opens that door. It's part of the point. See, the girl can't tell me she's 37 and really be 15. No, she can't. <laughs> See, I ain't going to the business thinking I'm going to get lucky. Though I wouldn't turn it down. <laughs> if she tells me she's 37. No, you wouldn't. No, no, she tells you she's 37. And went to college in from New Jersey or something. <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> but I'd have sex with her. <laughs> she tells me all that. <laughs> That's three different things. That I can't fact check when I'm in the damn slump. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now guess how the age of consent works up. If you're 16, you can even have sex with a 51 year old. All right. There's no gap. No. I'm not telling you this to seduce a 16-year-old. I know you're not. But I don't even come on to 16-year-olds, right? <laughs> and all I tell them about is my story, which should be cool. I know it should be cool. But for some reason, some idiot's acting like it's not cool <laughs> that I survived all that. Mm -hmm. They're trying to turn it into some kind of superpower or something themselves, right? But want to deny they did it, but though somebody did it, I might even know who did it, right? I don't know who did it because I was knocked out by them, by them. <laughs> At the wreck in the fall. Mm -hmm. And that's why they got to stop all this. Right? They're victimizing not only me, but younger women who they're no aren't supposed to be with me, but also get them to lie to me and I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> but forgive them, like I said. Because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't either. I don't even know they're underage or I wouldn't interact with them. I know. 
That's as simple as you telling me that you're 15 or 37. Mm -hmm. If you're 15, I won't get blacked out because I won't even try to have sex with you. But if you tell me you're 37 and I try to have sex with you, that's on you. That's on you. I don't have to guess your age. This ain't the fair. <laughs> Or well, they get to guess your age within two years. <laughs> I <don't> know that. <laughs> but like I said, right? Even with the Jeopardy program where I guess Venus was part of the answer. <laughs> until they revealed the answer, it was just the song I was singing coincidentally. <laughs> Tell them. Was part of the answer. <laughs> Did I know? When it, the clue was read. <laughs> but am I psychic? Something could have clued me in, but I don't know who it was. I hope it was Jesus. <laughs> I hope it was Jesus. Right? And, uh, trying to tell me that was be part of the answer. How do you prove it anyway if someone's communicating something to you mm -hmm. and it's on a TV show that's edited and you don't know one from the TV show <laughs> and something says sing Venus from <laughs> and then it was part of the answer right? whether the goddess or the planet by the way I don't remember all that detail. But again, when it popped up, it was part of the answer. It was part of the clip. <laughs> now, that's not me knowing it, right? But something telling me Venus might come up during the show. <laughs> now, when it does, it's confirming what was told me, you know, <laughs> to sing Venus. <laughs> Got us on the mountain top. Burning like a silver flame, the summit of beauty and love, and Venus was her name. She's got it! Yeah, baby, she's got it! Well, I'm your Venus, I'm your buyer for desire. I don't know. <laughs> and see, there's no way I can know that, but something from outside. <laughs> Could communicate to me to sing Venus and it be part of the answer. But I didn't know it till it popped up. Till it popped up. Mm -hmm. Now, if the girl was 15 and I asked her age, right? right. Gentile. <laughs> I'm sorry. The girl from Casper, the woman from Casper was in it who played the villain. <laughs> mm hmm. But like I said, that's a beautiful young lady, but you can't touch it. <laughs> Even if you want to. Until <laughs> she's of age. Until she's of age, right? But you can look. look, look but you can't touch. <laughs> but now, all I've been doing with a stepchild is helping her go to the bathroom and she woke me up in the middle of the night, right? It was over by me or the couch or by the TV. <laughs> right. Now... <laughs> Another reason you pull down her panties all the way off if she's in the living room with you so she can go out to the bathroom and go pee. <laughs> yeah. Durr. <laughs> she's a child, right? She would trip over her underwear <laughs> if you don't take them off. I know that. <laughs> That's how you know that should be, though, also a made-up story. <laughs> I know that. But I'm explaining to you why I'm making it up. Someone's accusing me. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're trying to also maybe make it look like it was Lance. Like, I don't know if she was or not. <laughs> but I can tell you if it was her, she was confused. Right. And I would forgive her and just bring her daughter back to her. <laughs> Wouldn't even touch her. 